A young girl called Mary lived there, and she loved God. Mary was engaged to be married to a man called Joseph. One day, she was visited by an angel called Gabriel. Don't be afraid, Mary. God is pleased with you, Gabriel said. You are going to become pregnant. The boy you will have will be called Jesus, and he will be great. The name Jesus means God rescues, and rescuing is exactly what Jesus does. People will call Jesus the Son of God, Gabriel continued, and he will be a king like David, only with a kingdom that will never end. Mary didn't understand. There's a problem, she said. You need a man to produce babies, and Joseph and I aren't yet married. Gabriel replied, that isn't a problem for God. The baby will be made through God's Holy Spirit. This tells us that Jesus was not going to be an ordinary human being, like you or me, but God as well. Mary bowed her head. I am God's servant, may your promises come true. She was so filled with joy that she sang a song to God, praising him for what he was doing for his people. Joseph was not happy when he heard that the girl he was going to marry was pregnant. But he had a dream in which an angel spoke to him, telling him not to worry. Mary had done nothing wrong, and the baby who was coming had been made by the Holy Spirit. You might have expected that Mary would stay in Nazareth to have her baby, but God had other plans. At this time, Israel was controlled by the powerful Roman Empire, ruled by Caesar Augustus. He needed more people to pay money to the government in taxes, so he ordered everybody to go back to where they came from so that they could be registered for tax. As Joseph was descended from King David and came from Bethlehem, that was where he had to go. He took Mary with him. It was a long journey, and when Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they found that there was nowhere for them to stay. The only place they could find was a room where animals were kept. This was where Jesus was born, and Mary and Joseph wrapped him up and put him in a cattle trough. How very strange that when the king who will rule forever came to earth, he was born in such a poor little place. <laughs>